breastfed Bobby. Yep. But it was torture. Yep, it was torture. What was it? What was it like? Um, I've got really big boobs. In case I, you've I did never not noticed. Notice. <laughs> no. Um, so obviously, um, when your milk comes in, they get oh, a lot bigger. I loved um, it. Did you hate it when that? When obviously, you were I hated it. My boobs started a double G, so you can imagine G? double G. Wow. Yes. Um, so and getting induced with Bobby, I think my milk wasn't ready to come in yet. So right. I didn't get milk for five days. Right. Um, so I had these big sort of engorged breasts, but nothing was getting released. It was sort of all building up in there. Right. Um, and he just wouldn't not attach to my boobs as much as I tried. Um, I had him at Francis Perry House in the women's and they've got this really good breastfeeding room, which I would go in like six times yeah. a day and just persist, persist, persist. In the end, he was getting nothing because I had no milk. So he did start on formula bottles in the hospital. Um, and then a really nice midwife introduced me to nipple shields, which oh. as soon as I put them on, my milk came in in one day and we just, you know, it was off. And yeah. except then you go home and you see your maternal health nurse and she's, no, why are you using nipple shields? What? So many people are anti nipple shields and they say they actually help a lot of women feed. I fed him for yeah. nearly six months with nipple shields and I still, yeah, have women go, why do you use them for? And, my son didn't attach to my boobs. It yeah. was something that I still hate. And I, you know, the next one I go, I'm going to get him on my boob. Yeah. But you just got to do what you got to do. Absolutely. So I, yeah. you know, it used to break my balls because I had to tape my shields everywhere and I had to yeah. um, wash them and disinfect them all the time. But um, I couldn't never feed Bobby in public. You know, were you one of those women who could just hold like this and walk around and all yeah, of that? Yeah, but I have like, um, like I had mastitis like 642 yeah. times, but also my boobs are so little. Yeah. See, like my you boobs were yours. so big that I would have to sit on a couch. I'd literally have to get like pillows like yeah. this all around me. <laughs> and then I would just plonk my boob no. on there and he would sit there. So I could never, you know, feed in a shopping centre. I could no. never feed. I had to go home all the time to feed him. Yeah. So, uh, I remember seeing Chrissy Swan feed when yeah. she had, I think it was Peg and I went over and she had to do the same. Yeah. She's got big, yep. massive boobs. Yep. And I'm like, you are actually suffocating that child because yeah. you would and have it, to lean and that's, right over. That's actually a serious thing. A lot of babies can't, yeah, a lot of babies die from being suffocated. By the boobs. Yeah, so, you know, again, you probably did it, you bitch. Oh my God, I'm having laying, bad news, like, laying in, that's not, there's nothing funny about Laying in bed, all. did you lay in bed, like, with your boob there and just feed the baby? Because I heard that t so many times. I'm like, if I fell asleep and just slightly went Why forward, I've got a photo of Bobby, like, my boobs, like, this week, and he said this, like, my boobs, like, four times, so I, like, and everyone would laugh, and you're laughing now too. I'm not laughing, I'm like envious. Like you can't part. be envious though, it's just, it's sad. I love boobs, I seriously, if you don't have them, I think I've got a sick thing. Yeah, I but I had like, I say I had I milk udders like a cow, like they were just so big, it was, it was almost hideous. Chibi. Yeah. Mm. And they went back okay though. They, yeah, they you know, look great. Yeah, they're all right now, and I just know next time around. Be, be we'll ready see, for but it. you know, you do what you gotta you do. do. What you gotta do. Yeah.